you look at Android phones, they're some of the best cameras in the market right now. So we really wanted to set out to transform the HDR experience in cameras. We had to look beyond the camera and think about the whole end-to-end -end journey there. So it's just not about capturing an image, but how do you display them, edit them, and share them across with your friends. So HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. Um, it's a technology that we typically use in cameras to capture more detail in both the bright and dark areas of a scene. Imagine a scene with a sunset or a dark forest and a bright sky. These are really difficult scenes to capture and that's where HDR really helps us. But this HDR technology has been only optimized for traditional SDR screens. So the images were still very flat. With Ultra HDR, we are able to take advantage of that extra brightness range and color pop and actually display in its full vibrance in HDR screens. Ultra HDR really takes advantage of premium phone cameras that have really high color depth and brightness capture and preserves them for displaying on modern HDR screens. It's going to give a much better realistic true to life experience for our users. In addition, we are also excited that Google Photos will be supporting Ultra HDR format. Users will be able to not only view them but actually back them up and edit and even share them in HDR quality on other devices. We are also expecting support to arrive in Chrome and users will be able to view their pictures in HDR quality on other platforms that have HDR capabilities as well. There were two key challenges we had to overcome. We wanted our users to have a seamless transition and not run into any of these compatibility challenges. So we designed Ultra HDR to be inherently backward compatible. If you're using Ultra HDR on a compatible device, it performs as an HDR image. But if you're viewing it on an SDR device, they still continue to work in SDR quality. The second thing that we wanted to set out to solve was the experience with social media apps. The images that you capture don't just live on your device. Users want to share them with their friends and family. The Ultra HDR APIs in Android 14 make it extremely easy for developers to adopt the format. I think when users try to take a photo, they are trying to preserve a memory forever. Like we've all been in the situation where, you know, we want to capture that perfect sunset or that perfect scenery. And once we capture it, we, we feel there's something missing. Maybe the colors are just not right or the brightness is just not right. And that's where HDR transforms it. As we see this format get more widely adopted, we are very excited to see creators use this technology to really enable users to unleash their creativity, be it brilliant stickers or brightness effects. We really are looking forward to see how creators are going to use this technology.